Hello, friends. Today I will talk to you about main idea. Remember that main equals important, most important. So we will talk about the most important idea in a passage. So the main idea is what the article is mostly about. It is what the author wants you to understand after reading the passage. Sometimes the author puts the main idea at the very beginning of the passage. It is right there in plain words. Sometimes the author opens a passage with the main idea, but most often you have to look for important details that help you figure out the main idea. Each detail is a helper. And most likely, however many paragraphs there are, there are that many important details. And when you put the three of them together, for instance, you get the main idea of the passage. Are you ready to put this knowledge into use? I am. So let's get started. Here we have a passage and our beautiful detail and main idea chart. Let's get to it, fill it out, and figure out the details and main idea. Detail number one. It says, doctors say kids exercise without knowing while doing chores. And it is in the first paragraph. It says, doctors doing chores gets moving. It says that kids don't even know that they are exercising while they are doing chores. That is detail number one from paragraph number one. Let's go to the second detail. I am thinking it comes from the second paragraph. Let's find out for sure. Voila! There we go. The second paragraph has this highlighted detail. And our detail in the chart says kids need to do small chores around the house as well as play. Let's go to our third important detail. I bet it is in the third paragraph. Am I right? Oh yes, I am so right. It says doing chores helps kids and prepares them to be grown-ups. And the very last sentence is when kids have a habit of doing chores, they are better prepared to be grown-ups. Now let's fill out the very last blank under the main idea in our beautiful chart. Yes, chores are as important as play and, and gets kids moving without realizing. Chores also prepare kids to be grown-ups. So this main idea, the most important point of the passage, is made up of three important details. One, two, and three from paragraphs one, two, and three. So think about what is the most important detail in each paragraph as you read. Put these together and think of what is the most important thing the author wants you to take away after reading an informative piece like this one. Doing this helps you remember the details of the passage better. You will remember the important information and you have known so much, oh so much. And now we know how to find the main idea of a passage. You are so smart and you know so much and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.